Hello everyone and I welcome you all to another video of our web development series and so far we for the past few videos what we are doing we are learning javascript right okay nice now uh, there is one more topic in javascript called arrays which we are going to study in this uh, lecture okay now before studying arrays let me tell you something suppose i have a party at my uh, home okay and this party is very huge so i have prepared a guest list for it like it contains somewhat what let's say 15 to 20 people and this is my home okay now there is a bodyguard here and suppose any person comes through the bodyguards check the name from the list and let him enter the house but if the name is not there he'll just send them back okay so let's open our visual studio code hmm is it opening not opening hmm okay it's taking a bit time but let's give it some time let's keep waiting let's see what is the problem here okay this is was this is what the code was there in the previous video let's have it removed now suppose the list i have it contains name like jack james rose mary albert okay now if i want to automate or if i want to code the thing which i just told you with the bodyguard what can i do like suppose if um, let's have a var name is equal to let's leave it empty for now okay suppose the name is of the guest which has just arrived and he just told his name so what i'll do i'll send var if name is equal is equal to jack then i'll do what i'll do console.log welcome let's say then i'll do else if james and then for rose and mary for albert i'll do the same thing now this is a very tiring process right so this is not the method which anyone would prefer okay so what should we uh, then do now see so far what we have done we have uh, initialized a variable with a single object let's say abc but what if i want to save multiple objects like this inside a name then what is the solution solution for that is you guessed it right arrays so basically arrays is what Arrays are basically a collection of items that are related and they can be stored together into the same container or the same variable. Okay. Now, let me show you by doing something. Suppose I have a container of eggs egg one egg two egg three egg four these are of same type so i'll just enclose them inside my array bracket uh, like these uh, square brackets and hence this is what arrays are so i'll just say var i'll give it the variable name let's say eggs okay 
so this is how you initialize an array all right Now, whenever you see these square brackets, then it's usually something to do with a collection of data type, such as an array, right? And we use these square brackets when we are, you know, creating array, as well as when we are trying to retrieve an item from array. Okay, so how you gonna retrieve an item from array? So simple, you just say eggs. As I said, we use square brackets for retrieving as well. So let's say I say two. So can you think which of these eggs it is going to pick? Most of you will be thinking, okay, one, two, three, four. So second would be this. But always remember, computer starts counting from zero, right? So what it would do? What this is zero. This is index one. This is index two. This is index three. Now this would return us this one. Okay, great. Similarly, you can find the length of the array by doing x dot length like this. Okay, great. Now let's try to do the same thing with our you know name code. Let's say where guests is equal to you will say jack and for every item you will give a comma then you will say james then you will say let's say rose you will say mary and then you will say albert all right now let's do one thing let's try and console.log guests dot length let's see what would be printed 5 1 2 3 4 5 great right similarly you can find the guests let's say guests may i want to find the first guest 0 it shouldn't return me jack similarly if i want 3 which is 0 1 2 3 marry okay and similarly fourth would be the last albert but what if i type five obviously this curiosity should be in your mind and fine because after four we don't have any other guest okay and what if i simply you know want guests only okay yeah the whole thing what would be printed see the whole thing is printed okay great now there is another array method which is called array dot includes okay so what it does is suppose my array's name is guest so what i'll do i'll say guest dot include and I'll write the visitor name. Let's say. Let's say this is my guest list and I have a visitor with name, let's say anything for now. Okay. And um, now if I want to check whether this visitor is there in our guest list or not. So if the visitor is in our guest list, this guests not include visitor would return me true. Otherwise, it would return me false. Okay. Great. Now to write the same code, what we'll do is this if guests dot includes, let's say visitor. I'll simply say console dot log welcome now see this means that it has to be true otherwise you can write this one as well but if you don't write this one it means the same thing okay else 
uh, you will say, say console.log sorry not invited let's see and run our code let's hope it works obviously it would work the logic is there for now let's say james james is there let's run it let's see what is the output hmm welcome nice now suppose if i say and what would it return me? It would return me. Sorry, not invited because it is not included in the list. You may try to write your own name like me. It is my party, but I'm still not <laughs> invited. So it is doing sorry, not invited. Okay, great. So this was all that was, you know, to be studied in the uh, array. All right. There are many methods in the arrays like which we just did, you know arrays dot length and array dot includes this is includes okay there are many other methods but these are the prominent ones you may want to read the other ones you may or you don't want to but it's up to you but these will are the important ones which i told you okay so i guess that was all for this video and thank you for watching and see you later